can be a little moron. <laughs> oh, let's do this uh, Uneasy Rider song. I haven't done that in quite a while. Maybe just a couple weeks. That one takes a while. Uneasy Rider. Oh. Uneasy Rider in G, 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 D, C, G, C, D. I was taking a trip out to L.A. Tooling along in my Chevrolet Looking out the window and digging on the radio Just as I crossed that Mississippi line I heard that highway start to whine And I knew that left rear tire was about to blow well, the spare was flat and I got up tight Cause there wasn't a filling station in sight So I just limped down on the shoulder on the rim I went as far as I could and when I stopped the car It was right in front of this little bar Kind of a redneck looking place called the Dew Drop Inn well, I stuffed my hair up under my hat And I told the bartender that I had a flat And would he be kind enough to give me change for one? Well, there was one thing I was sure proud to see There wasn't a soul in the place except for him and me And he just looked disgusted and pointed toward the telephone well, I called up a station down the road a ways And he said he wasn't very busy today And he could have someone out there in just about ten minutes or so He said, now you just stay right where you're at And I didn't bother to tell the darn fool But I sure as heck didn't have anywhere else to go Well, I just ordered up a beer and sat down at the bar When some guy walks in and said, who owns this car? With his peace sign, the mag wheels, and the four on the floor Well, he looked at me and I dang near died And I decided that I'd just wait outside So I laid a dollar on the bar and headed for the door well, just when I thought I'd get out of there with my skin, these three big dudes come strolling in with one old drunk chick and some fellow with green teeth. And I was almost to the door when the biggest one said, you tip your hat to this lady, son. And when I did, all that hair fell out from underneath. Now the last thing I wanted was to get in a fight in Jackson, Mississippi on a Saturday night. Especially when there were three of them and only one of me. Well, they all started laughing and I felt kind of sick and I knew I better think of something pretty quick. So I reached out and kicked old Green Teeth right in the knee. Well, he let out a yell and curl your hair But before he could move, I grabbed me a chair And said, watch him, boys, cause he's a thoroughly dangerous man You may not know it, but this man's a spy He's an undercover agent for the FBI He's been sent down here to infiltrate the Ku Klux Klan he was still bent over holding on to his knee when I... You got me all screwed up, Roger. <laughs> but everyone else was looking and listening at me. And I laid it on thicker and heavier as I went. I said, would you believe this man has gone as far as tearing Wallace stickers off the bumpers of cars? And he voted for George McGovern for 
president. Who the heck are those people? <laughs> well, he's a friend of those long-haired, tippy, hippie type guys. I bet you he's even got a commie flag tacked up on the inside of his garage. Yeah, he's a snake in the grass, I tell you guys. He may look dumb, but that's just a disguise. He's a mastermind in the ways of espionage. Well, they all started looking real suspicious at him, and he jumped up and said, Now, nah, wait a minute, Jim. You know he's lying. I've been living here all of my life. I'm a faithful follower of Brother John Birch, and I belong to the Antioch Baptist Church, and I ain't got a garage. You can call home and ask my wife. Well, then he started saying something about the way I was dressed, but I didn't hang around to hear the rest. I was too busy moving and hoping I didn't run out of luck. Sorry to say, when I hit the ground, I was making tracks, and they were just taking my car down off the jack. So I threw the man a twenty and jumped in and fired that mother up. Oh, Mario Andretti would have sure been proud of the way I was moving when I passed that crowd coming out the door and headed for me to truck. And I guess I should have gone ahead and run, but somehow I just couldn't resist the fun of chasing them all just once around the parking lot. Well, they headed for their car, but I hit the gas, and they spun around and headed them off at the pass. I was slinging gravel and putting a ton of dust in the air. And when I hit the road, I was really wheeling, had gravel flying and rubber squealing, and I didn't slow down until I was almost to Arkansas. Well, I think I'm gonna reroute my trip. I wonder if anybody think I flipped if I went to LA via Omaha. <laughs> thank you, thank you.